Hey, what is up, guys? Shadow Seal here, and welcome to another Railwork Sundays. So, um, we not too long ago I did a scenario for called the Racetrack Rockets, and initially uh, this was one scenario I created. But I decided, why not go into another classic kind of scenario, kind of excursion run? The farewell run is kind of based off an actual farewell run that was done by Amtrak uh, uh, last year in 2016. And they are, Amtrak is retiring the, their AEM-7 fleets, and they're replacing them with the ACS-64. Uh, and unfortunately, there's only a handful of these AM7s either still in service or, or plan and are planned to be uh, donated. Uh, one I do know has already been donated to the Museum of Pennsylvania, the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania, the Rail Pennsylvania Railroad Museum, which is very very good because it, we have at least one locomotive in that preservation group in pr preservation and there is movements to preserve a lot more of those classic AM 7s as they were iconic for the Northeast Corridor ever since they were brought in during the, er the late 70s and that's something you guys probably are a lot of younger people are not aware of but these AM 7s have been in service since the 1970s so a lot of them are like getting real up there in age and kind of need some work if they want to continue. Good afternoon, driver. You have taken over from the previous driver and are in charge of driving the Northeast Regional Train, number 83, from New Rochelle to New York on this crisp winter afternoon. This is the last ever operation of your AEM-7, and we're about to make one, make it one to remember. So play your part and see play your part while well by driving into the Big Apple on time. See you there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Put them forward. I think my brakes are actually applied. But I'll go ahead and turn open the doors. Uh, might as well apply the brakes just in case because I don't know apply the headlights. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So, if you haven't noticed, the AEM-7 here, in particular, actually was part of the classic Northeast Corridor. And on the Steam Workshop, they actually removed it. Uh, not the Steam Workshop, the Steam Store page. They actually removed the DLC route. So, uh, for some strange reason, uh, they actually... Um, they removed the route, but supposedly what they were doing was actually fixing it quite a bit. So this particular locomotive and the route are back on the Steam Warrior Chapter 20 bucks. And it's not that bad. Uh, if you like the classic Northeast Corridor route, which I believe is based off the old MSTS route, this one's actually up very highly updated for, um, for what? Passengers aboard, doors closed, signals clear, you have the line. You have the line. Let's head for New York. All right. I'm going to go ahead and release that. I'm sure the brakes are probably on. Interesting. All right. Open up the throttle. So we have a speed limit of 45 right now. Though, to be honest, it's not going to be, like, I feel once I get up to proper track speed, I'm actually going to have a lot of fun. Because I have rarely... Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Didn't it? Okay, interesting. Got to be careful with this locomotive, huh? That's the slip pretty quick. Like. Alright, 100 miles an hour up ahead. Is there a passenger view? Yeah, there is, actually. For some reason, I feel that these cars are actually facing backwards on, the, on occasion when people place them, and they don't realize it. So, like I said, this is the most updated version of the route. Uh, this is the, the the one that was never deleted, and it's actually a standalone. To, to Oh, 
Oh, I wonder if the cruise control. I've never actually used cruise control on a locomotive, but I feel that. I'm actually kind of curious about it. I'm going to go ahead and go a little farther out. And that, see, hearing that hum is kind of an, a, some, something I miss from Trains in World. All right, we can actually speed up. Up, up. Do I click it? Oh, you know what? It's triggered only by, um, uh, it's when you're idling for too long. Okay. There we go. So, so there's our signal indicator. That's good. Another interesting thing I don't have. What's this? Loader enabled. Speed control. Go back up to the view here. Oh, oh, dear. Whoops. Didn't see that. We have a 45 coming up right real quick. I am going to have to apply bricks a little bit, but not yet, not yet. Order enable. I wonder what that means. Easy does it. Easy does it. What the hell is with the counter? All right, start applying. Drop down to 45. I think that's a transfer point. It looks like. That frame rate's dropping a little bit. Up <laughs> oh, there's the city sprinter. Double header by the looks like. A large train too. Another bridge. <laughs> there we go. Release the brakes. <laughs> what? My little dog is curious. Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't stop doing that. Come here. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Come on, up. Get up here. There you go. Alright, good dog. Good dog, good dog, good dog, good dog. Up, 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 up. I'm going to pause this for a second and switch over to something real quick. Say hello. Say hello. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> All right. Is that all you wanted? You just want to sit on my lap? <laughs> Goofball. Alright, sorry about that. I just wanted to say, show you my dog, Toby. Alright, back to this. There we go. <laughs> he is such a tired little guy. Ah! Can't see! Why would they let you do that? Flight. Oh! What the hell happened? I, okay, that is very, very interesting. I never actually, I wonder if I have this automatically going, going off. Like I have it automatically. Because with uh, my map program down here, there's a, a little alerter on the corner that you can actually trigger. And that actually kind of helps out a little bit by kind of triggering the, kind of triggering, let me get down. Come on, Toby. Come on. There you go. And that actually can help trigger, like, if you're wanting to just take screenshots and you have a local one that's solely like, oh, what the hell just happened there? Aw. Looks like my map app broke. Yeah, it looks like the internet's down. It's supposed to be moving, but I can't. 
by the looks of it, it's not working. Yeah, must have the internet must have gone out for me, so I'll have to disable that for a little bit. Alright. Well this is kind of weird. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and disable that. There we go. Oh! Oh dear god, I've had that up for a while now. Whoopsie. Uh, you know what? I'll fix that in post. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I must have that triggered by something else. Oh! The Acela! Nice, we got some. What is with the counter here? Is that there's cup holders? Oh, I got it. It's passing over. There's warning plates on the bottom on the tracks, so if you're so they actually trigger the alerter on occasion. I'm rolling on the Go a little farther out. To the station. Perfect. And actually, a couple of little things. Hello. Get out of the way, tree. Nice. Slow the train down a little bit. God damn it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Gotta pause this for a second. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. Alright. Alright. I don't think you normally... That probably is a Conrail train, actually. Now that I think about it. I remember right. Conrail actually operates various trains still on the Northeast Corridor segments as because they have actual operating access to various trackage. So I think Conrail... Oh, there it goes again. Alright. Alright. slow down a little too much, but well. Wow! What the hell is going on? I got that going off five times already. To be honest, I still don't know entirely what causes this um causes the um alerter to go off on this route, but I have the feeling that it may have to do with some panels on the bottom of the track. Oh. How far are we? Whoa! It's just got a bright yellow thing on the corner of my computer. Uh, visually intense roots.
wheel slap. Oh, that might have been for some strange reason that triggered once and it hasn't gone away. What? Ah, CSX yard right over there. CSX or Conrail yard. Yeah, that's something people probably don't realize, but there's actually Conrail operated trackage still. Even though the line itself was shut, even though Conrail was absorbed by both Norfolk Southern and CSX as far back as the, um, as early as, as late as 1999 was the last time Conrail actually happened. As a class one, but it's now I think classified as a class two officially. Get a little bit further out, and then zoom in with this, and then get my screenshot. Well, at least with this, they kind of fixed an issue where the couplers can be stretch. I think that was only with this new though. New certain things to me. Oh great! Now I got a 50 limit coming up. Oh boy. Stop. I think I just want to... Alright. I think I'll let gravity kind of slow us down quite a bit because there's a 50 coming up right there. Brrr. Hell's Gate Bridge. That's the next waypoint there. Right. Alright, now we'll need to apply throttle just enough to get us up to over this gradient. Last episode we did heard some tire squeals, but this time I really want to hear that tire squeal. No, it's actually right around here. Oh, oh, I know that one of the issues going downgrade is the fact that the actual locomotive uh, actually there's a quite a steep downgrade in here. I also know that there's actually several points where you probably have to ask permission when entering and exiting this section of track into Penn State. Not Penn State. You why do I keep calling it that, though? This is... Hmm. I wonder if I apply cruise control? If it actually applies brakes accordingly. Okay, here we go, downgrade. What I'm going to do is switch over to dynamics because I know that that will actually keep me. Interesting. I can't actually trigger the dynamics for some strange reason no more. Does it. Hmm. I wonder if my train has to be in neutral. That's interesting. I think the dynamics are not working. 
because I know that the, there are dynamic brakes with the AM7, and so it's right there, but for some strange reason, it's not working. I'm just going to start applying brakes soon, because I know that the next very, very next point is actually, um, is actually, um, no? Wait, we've been only playing for six minutes? Oh, wait, no, this is this recording, okay. I had to stop the recording earlier and actually re-record. I'll move this out of the way a little bit. A little bit. And we should probably start applying brakes soon. If this is what an actual cab of an AM7 looks like. I could. I probably wonder how the driver actually can see out the light bulb. need to uh, ask for permission yet, but it looks like we're going to need to eventually. Yeah, this section is actually one of those interesting little segments that actually becomes a problem. So I'm going to keep that up for a little bit, because I know that there's several quote-unquote permission tabs that you're going to need to do. Wow, there are so many alerters going off. What if I can actually turn that off? Let's activate here, enable. East River Tunnel. Naturally, I've been having my train idle, but then again... I'm actually early. Interesting. Talk about speed. Here we go. This is one of those segments that becomes a very big problem. It's just how steep this grade is. Okay, we don't need to ask for permission yet. Wow, we're pretty early timetable-wise, but this guy, I wonder if he actually made this where even if you're late, you're not too bad. So, looks like three trains were actually seen on the route, but then again, I'm wondering if it's actually going to go on the way. I know that, like I said before, there's a certain segment of the track that actually becomes a problem. Uh, because I had that issue with another scenario featuring like the entrance into New York, the New York area, but... Actually, here it is. It's these collection of signals right here. It's actually just before the tunnel, I believe. Because if I remember right, that tunnel becomes a very big, big issue. Behind, not just yet. I love the wheel clacking sound that they have behind me. That's actually pretty good. So far, nothing permission. I uh, not that I'm not asking permission yet. Yeah, it looks like there's not much of a problem. I wonder if that was just that scenario in particular, because I know, because I remember clearly having to ask for information as I entered the tunnel. Now the trick is to get in here easily. And without having a fucking derailment. Holy crap, we're speeding up. Into the tunnel we go. Whoop. 
Dispatch, train 83, well done, you are uh, you are running on time. Now uh, now we are going to route you onto track 14 uh, at New York. Just keep the brakes I can check for a little bit. That we don't, 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 at least until we get to a segment where it's not too steep. This is a 1.5% grade. That's crazy. Just yet. There's a 50 mile hour limit coming up. Oh. Alright, start applying brakes. Loose. I'm probably doing the braking system wrong on this locomotive somehow, but I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Alright, we're easing in, or not really easing, but, oh, it's Pen, it is actually Penn Station, I got, <laughs> it, is, it is Penn Station, I got it right, I didn't know that. Oh. Now I'll let the gradient here do so down for a little bit, but I know that it's not going to drop me down to 15 fast enough. Sorry, I'm humming a song that I've been listening to over and over again, over, and it just it kind of caught me off guard. Uh, it looks like you know, just slowly easing the train to stop, or you know, uh, sl slow speed. All right, I think it doesn't look like we'll need to worry about um, actively tabbing, but it's worth keeping an eye on. So we're about halfway to our proper speed limits, about time to apply brakes. It should help us out. Even though we're at a 1.5 gradient, which is not a good idea to stop at, but I feel that like a little bit as well. I am bouncing the camera all over the place, aren't I? I cannot see. I don't understand what's with this counter. And a lot of early like locomotives like this are a lot of early de locomotive designs in railroads and MSCS and even trains all have this sort of elongated counter to the point where it's like barren with like a handful of controls everywhere. But all right, we're slowly to stop. Or, you know, just... Start turning the bell a little bit. Interesting. Oh no, that's my headlight that's causing that. Okay. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> It doesn't look like there's any more tabbing to be done. Because this is the last signal. Talk about kind of a fun rush. This is a very, one of those shorter scenarios that is always fun to play around with long term. Kind of a nice change of pace when you have the chance, really. Another AM7, or not AM7, AC64, ACS64.
Huh, that's interesting. I rarely got, like, when I got my new graphics card, this was not an area that was uh, kind of high or low on frame rate issues, but it looks like uh, right now, as it stands, the frame rate issues are are apparent because of all the damn columns, but it's not too bad per se. It's still playable, but it's also kind of something I need to keep an eye on graphics wise. Start a phone break. If I learned anything from uh, Rail Train Sim World, it's actually when parking a locomotive, put the throttle the reverse or neutral, brake at full service, and then leave. <laughs> Question is, how do these guys? Not exactly a good screenshot, but oh well. Makes it look like I'm a security camera, though. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well done, driver. The passengers and I are very satisfied with your performance. I think today, I think you'll really miss this local. Take a break now, scenario complete. Yay! That's not that bad. Uh, I was actually expecting this scenario to be the quote-unquote, like, final excursion run that Amtrak did, but it's more or less the actual service life that he recreated, which was something that I think actually ended way, way before the actual excursions took place. But, but this is something you guys should check out if you have both the classic Northeast Corridor and the New Haven, New York version of the Northeast Corridor, as this is actually running on the, Nor the, the uh, New York to New Haven routes. Um, other than that, you will have to check his um, the actual page to see if there's anything else required, but as it stands right now, there's not much he needs. Uh, not much that I think he needs. I think it's just the, the two routes and that's it. So, like and comment down below, subscribe if you guys want more, and I will see you guys in the next video.